using your bobbin winder to wind the thread onto your bobbin to fit in the machine. We have our thread sitting on the thread stand. Go up and through the little loop up here, either one, depending on what your thread, thread stand's like. And we thread it through this little hole here. And then around the tension disc. Give it a pull to make sure the thread actually goes in between the discs. Over here, now we get our bobbin, and on each end it has this little hole in it. So, on one end, this is going to go onto the shaft, and the little hole lines up with this little pin here, which locates it and keeps it in place, stops it from spinning when the shaft spins. And then we want our thread to come from the inside out on this little hole. So the bobbin binder works by this wheel here going against the belt as the belt spins. So if we have the motor turned on, hold on to the tail of the thread here. Let me just use our foot on the pedal. Just a quick note, while you're doing this, you should not have your needle threaded unless you're actually sewing. Once you've got a few wraps around the shaft of the bobbin, you don't need to hang on to the tail anymore. Once the bobbin has reached a level where it touches a spring, it'll automatically disengage from the belt. If it doesn't, it keeps whining and then it spills out the side because it hasn't turned off. Um, you can adjust the sensitivity of this with this screw on the spring. If you wind the screw in, it pushes this spring down, which means it lets more thread go onto the bobbin and if it's beyond the outside of the edges of the bobbin then that will just let the thread come off. So if you want to make it, it turn off quicker, this screw here can be turned to the left anti-clockwise which brings the spring up closer to the bobbin and it will engage the thread will press against the spring earlier and turn it off. So now we can just snip our threads here and we're ready to install it. We pop this out by pressing on this little spring here. Now we have the bobbin, the thread coming off this way which is going to come round on the same angle to come down behind this spring plate here. Just put it in like that. Thread comes around, pop it down under the spring tension plate. Then we just push it back in there like that. Now to bring the bobbin thread to the top, we want to keep hold on the top thread and just wind the flywheel by hand. You can see the hook coming around there. Let's grab the thread. It'll do its loop. And then we have our loop of bobbin thread there as well. We can just pull it up like that. Put the 
cover back on so you don't get your fingers stuck in there. And you're ready to start sewing. <laughs>